Hey there guys, so I'm bringing you another uh, review. This is Mercenary Double IPA from Odell from Cal uh, Colorado. I just reviewed their uh, IPA, so uh, I thought if you wanted to check that out, go check that out before you check this. Um, I, in how I order my beers, I would definitely go small to bigger. If I had this first and then the double IPA, uh, the single IPA, I think that the big hops in this would sort of, and the big malt would sort of dwarf the qualities of the other IPA. So uh, yeah, go small to big, and that's my order generally. Um, yeah, let's dig in this beer, so. Beer comes in a really nice dark uh, reddish amber, uh, you know, like a really dark uh, orange. Um, let's get the aroma. Yeah, it definitely smells like a double IPA. It has um, a big sweet bready malt, some uh, floral hops in the aroma, a nice, uh, a nice bright kind of floral quality, uh, some uh, light citrus and grapefruit, uh, slight tinges of uh, tropical aroma. But yeah, let's take the flavor on this. Wow, very nice. Um, this rem immediately reminds me of Hopsland, by the way. Punches through with dried pineapple, uh, mangoes, um, sort of like a, a sweet kind of uh, tangerine or uh, blood orange, grapefruit peel, and it's backed up by this wonderful punch of candy sweetness, uh, almost like a honey from the hops, a uh, honey note from the Hopsland, just really sweet. Um, and really emphasizes th those uh, the fruit qualities, and then it, it, it lingers away quite quite wonderfully. Mouth feels probably medium medium plus, you know, not but it's not sticky on the end. On the end, it doesn't leave too much sweetness on you. Um, it dries off quite bitter, uh, and so it's drying and bitterness. But the bitterness is probably something like a medium plus, heavy bitterness, floral bitterness. Uh, the beer tastes like a centennial in it. There's like a um, uh, I recently had two hearted, so there's like a I'm reminded of this almost like green forest, this uh, oily uh, 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 pine needle kind of flavor. Um, yeah, really nice. You get a sense that it's a big beer for 10%. It's at 9.3, I believe. But you don't really taste the alcohol, but there's a sense of it at, um, at some point. But yeah, it's really nice, nice and complete, a bold beer. Um, very nice stuff. I'm gonna give this beer a 93, uh, slightly higher than the Odell IP, a regular IPA, but I still think that in the end, this might still be an age issue. Uh, the last one was for, uh, I think it was um, April six, uh, 16th or something. This one's April 1st Best Buy. So this beer has been out for about um, 100 days. And so reading more about this beer, I thought I'd get a huge hop bomb. Tons and tons of these uh, pungent fruits and all these big notes, but it's, it's sort of more restrained. Again, uh, one of my disappointments about, about Hop Slam was that it was a more, it, the hops were you know not big and boisterous there. And this is, is a bit more than that, but it's still not as bold as I would expect. And um, again, 100 days probably might be that. I'm not sure. I, I've had this beer fresh to really tell if there's if it's you know the beer's issue or it's just the, the shelf life. Um, yeah, so maybe the, uh, Odell should be putting their beers out and having it out for four months and, you know, um, you know who knows. So three months in, it's still a very delicious beer. It's getting 93, but I maybe imagine that fresh, this would be a lot better. So until next time, guys, this Odell Mercenary IPA. Later.